What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Adriel. And I'm Kiva. You know what I'm going to say? If you're new to our channel right now, we want you to pause this video and click that subscribe button. And for all of our viewers, new and old alike, please do not hesitate to click that like button. Now, as you guys can see, my husband has spent all our savings. Jesus, have mercy. From the title some of you are probably wondering how can you spend all of your savings come on adriel so what's happened we decided we decided that i was going to make a career change i decided to become a real estate agent here in calgary alberta so i'm not sure if you remember in our last video we put it up um put one of the cards up there just before we went to emergency because kiva had a little scare i was about to take an exam and it was the real estate exam for alberta yes yeah so it was a scary day but thank god i did pass you know and <laughs> here i am yeah and the reason why he said um we is because we talk about everything and he yeah. said babe what do you think about this i'm like you know what if you if this is where you feel that god is leading you who am i to say no that's right so i said all right so we're all in for yeah. richer or for poor or for even richer okay. <laughs> yeah so the reason i actually decided to take the real estate exam was because i met a, a gentleman who we also spoke about in our video where we bought our house he was he is a real estate agent and he's been in the industry for 20 plus years and he presented me with an opportunity to be able to work with him and his group and Basically, to me, it was a no-brainer. I've always wanted to get into real estate investing, and I see this also as an opportunity to learn more about the industry. Now, before he continue, y'all, the real estate guy didn't just reach out to him. Adri oh, was yeah. fascinated about real estate. He's like, man, generational wealth. We need to go ahead and do this. He was while I'm watching um, Ram Dave Ramsey and Anthony O'Neill. He mm. was like, you know what, babe? We need to go ahead and do this. So I'm like. Okay, babe. <laughs> no, but the thing is, it's like when someone presents you a dream or a, a, a passion of this, especially as the support person in the relationship, I don't think you should shut it down. Even if it seems to be out of this world, say, okay, what can I do to help you get there? What do we need to do to get you there? And that's exactly what happened in this situation. Yeah, you know, as Kiva said, the wealth building aspect of real estate is just insane. You know, the cash flow, the appreciation, the ability to build equity you know i've always been fascinated about it most of the you know millionaires and billionaires in the world always have real estate as mm -hmm. a part of their asset portfolio so you know that's always been a part of um my passion i decided to take a, a leap of faith we actually prayed first about it yes yeah, so of you course before pray. we make a decision we have to pray yeah and um we went for it oh you might not remember this we we did but this time um his parents were staying with us and they just okay. moved into uh, the new, they, they were moving into their new uh, house and our friend we can call him friend now the realtor he's a he's a family friend now he came by the house and he said oh by the way um this just came up yeah. if you want to meet with me on zoom we can have a discussion and i'm not talking about those uh pyramid zoom uh, calls that <laughs> people be doing <laughs> hey hun it's been a minute no not one of those um but he had a meeting with him and it's like, we prayed about it and then boom, that yes. opportunity just came. Yeah. And the reason why I feel as though he um, came to you is because you were very consistent and persistent with asking him questions about real estate, saying, okay, should I invest in this property? How much mm -hmm. do I need for this? And so he had an interest and he has charisma and the realtor saw that in Adrian and reached out and here we are today. Yeah, so I've been a real estate agent for about two months and I'll, I'll talk about it more. We'll post more videos about it and how you can even become a real estate agent in Alberta and I'll share my experience about that. But it has been great so far. The people who I work with are super supportive. You know, the mentorship is insane and you know, I've made the right decision, I believe, so far. And, you know, there's so many benefits to be becoming a real estate agent i know it's not for everyone and i know there are challenges to it mm -hmm. but you know i feel like it's it's the direction that god has me going in right now i'm currently transitioning into being a, a full-time real estate agent but i also work 
um, full time as well. And it's it's an office job. And I'm a people's person. I love people. I love talking to people. You can I love, talk to anyone. Yeah, I love getting to know people. And I feel like mm -hmm. this is allowing me to do that and also see so many different homes, so many different properties. It's super exciting for me. There are its challenges and I'm not gonna um, negate that, but it's it's been great so far. And I must say, you know, as, as a Christian, I do believe that I have an unfair advantage. Some of you may disagree, but I believe with God on, on our side, the sky is not the limit. There's no limit to, to how far we can go in this. Come on now. And like you said, the challenges came. So like, um, for us, we did use a lot of our savings. We didn't deplete it completely, but there were a lot of costs that were involved. Yeah. And even he, thankfully, he has completed two deals thus far. And that is amazing. So yes. round of applause, yes, babe. However, the money hasn't landed in our laps and that's okay. Like things mm -hmm. will happen in its due time. He said, man, um, for the first one, he's like, man, I wonder what I'm going to get paid. Yeah. I'm like, babe, when we need the money the most. Yeah. And so it's just been about patience, about consistency and also balance. Yes. So he'll talk about that as well. How he has been juggling a full time job, being a realtor and a husband. Cause trust me, all of that is yes. hard work. <laughs> yes. All of that is hard work. Absolutely. But guys, we thank you so much for tuning into this video. We will keep you on this journey of his new career change. Yeah. And I'm proud of him. and going into a big like changing your career in your early 30s it's a scary move but i believe when god ordained your steps yeah. all you have to do is move your feet and trust that he knows where he's taking you yeah you know for the husbands or the wives who are you know thinking about making a career change thinking about you know what they should do next of course approach it prayerfully um support your partner in in any way possible Yes, you don't want to run off a cliff, you know, with them, but approach everything prayerfully. And if you see the, a passion or, or a dream within them, you know, support them. Like Kiva has been a tremendous support for me and I couldn't ask for a better wife. So I have to say that, you know, and let everyone know that support your spouse, be there for them. God is going to work things out. Just trust him. All right, so we cannot leave this video without reminding all of y'all that you are blessed, blessed and, and highly, highly favored. favored. We're going to see y'all in the next video.